Right, we're actually going to be doing a investigation that needs a shadow puppet, and I'm hoping that you've actually made one already. I've got one in my pocket. So, um, knowing me a bit, <laughs> can you guess what it might be? An astronaut, a planet, a star. A star, that's a good one. Shall we switch off the light so it's dark? Close your eyes, and when I count to three, you can open your eyes and see whether you can work out from the shadow what it is. Three, two, one. <gasps> so look at that shadow. A rocket. A rocket. So you're nearly right with the, the astronaut. There's an astronaut in the rocket. So today, we are going to investigate how we can make a shadow change in size. Are you ready? Yeah. Off you go. Right, so I'm looking at your whiteboard now and I can see it's at a slight angle. Do you think that's going to affect your results? Yeah. It will, because if you hold it at this angle right now, we'll get an answer, but on the next time we do it, he holds it straight, that will be a different answer to that and it will affect it. Right, so what you need to do is make sure that this is perfectly vertical to the table and to the torch. Yeah, so you've measured really accurately how far away the screen is from the puppet, right? But what about the torch? We're roughly measuring. We're trying to keep it 10, cent 10 centimetres apart. Yeah. Are you doing that accurately, or do you think it's just me? So do you yeah. think that your results are going to be reliable if you are just doing it roughly? No. no. Would it be a fair test? No. So what do you think you're going to have to try and do? Try again. Try again. Right, I'm looking at your results and you've managed to measure quite accurately, but I'm a bit concerned about whether these are going to be reliable. If that one's 3.7 and that one's 3.8, and then you have got one that's 3.4, that to me seems a little bit strange. When we measured it on uh, 3.4, we measured it from here to here, and then for the 3.4 one, we did it here to here, so that might have made a difference. Right, so you think it might be because you're not measuring the same thing each time? That wouldn't make it a fair test, would it? Um, I think perhaps you ought to do it once more. And what you need to do is you need to make sure that you're always measuring the same bits every time. 3.7. Yeah, 3.7. Right, and that's why we actually do things a couple of times. We might want to do it four or five times if we get one which is quite different from the others. Once Sarah's class have collected all of the data, they'll plot it onto a line graph and discuss as a class whether the graph shows a trend or pattern.